Hi, I'm Daniel Bernoulli, and I'm here to teach you about my principal. Hi, my name is Daniel Bernoulli. I lived from 1700 to 1782, and I was a Swiss mathematician and physicist. One of my most important works was Hydrodynamica, written in 1738, which established hydrodynamics and proposed the first kinetic theory of gases. But perhaps my most important, important achievement was Bernoulli's principle, the topic of today's video. And an important part of my principle is my equation, Bernoulli's equation. This equation is basically a statement of conservation of energy. It says that pressure 1 plus rho g h rho meaning density plus 1 half rho v squared equals pressure 2 and the same on the other side. This says p1 and p2 are the pressures in this closed tube. Rho g h is a statement of the potential energy of the system on the other side and 1 half rho v squared is the kinetic energy on the other side. This equation qualitatively implies that as velocity of a system is increased, its pressure is subsequently decreased, and vice versa. Now, now that we have this equation, we have to look at a few central components to understand it better. Let's first look at pressure. One aspect of Bernoulli's principle is pressure with the unit pascals. Pressure equates the force acted on an object over the area that the force is applied onto, as this diagram shows here. Now, note that pressure only implies perpendicular force. So, in this case, this area, which is 5 meters squared, would be getting all the force applied by this force, which is 50 newtons. So now, using this equation, we can see that F over A, or 50 newtons, or 5 meters squared, equals 10 pascals. Another important thing to note is that in tubes such as this, even though the shape of the tubes are different, if at any vertical marker at which the height is the same, the pressure will also be the same. Therefore, because these tubes are different does not mean that the pressure is different. In fact, at the same verticality, the pressure is the same in both tubes. And now, to mathematically demonstrate Bernoulli's equation, here is some problem. In the first portion of the pipe, the area of the pipe is 2 meters squared, and the velocity of the water is traveling at 10 meters per second. The pressure, in the, the pressure of the first pipe is 10 to the 4th pascals. In the second area of the pipe, the area is 1 half meter squared, and the velocity is unknown, and the pressure is 6 times 10 to the 3rd pascals. In order to solve this problem, Bernoulli's equation must be used. The pressure 1 plus the rho g h plus 1 half rho v squared equals the pressure of the pipe in the second area plus rho g h plus 1 half rho v squared. Next, substitute the variables given into the equation and solve for v2 to be 16.97 meters per second. Now that we've learned about Bernoulli's principle, Let's learn about some of the applications it has. One of the applications is in airplanes. The way airplane wings generate thrust is through their special shape. With this shape, air travels faster on top of the wing and slower on the bottom part of the wing. As you recall, this results in a lower pressure on top and a higher pressure on the bottom. This difference in pressures creates the lift that is necessary for planes to fly. Now, for a quick demonstration of lift, when I blow on top of the paper, the air travels much faster on top of the paper than the still air on the bottom of the paper. This means that the pressure on top of the paper is lower than the pressure on the bottom, causing an upward force as the pressure travels from high pressure to low pressure, causing the paper to rise. Another way this is used is through a very famous baseball pitch called the curveball. How pitchers use a curveball is by specially throwing the ball in a way that there's a slower velocity on top of the air on top of the ball and a greater velocity of the air on the bottom of the ball. Now you know that this means there's a greater pressure on top and a lower pressure on the bottom. Through this phenomenon, the ball violently has a top-down acceleration causing it to go downwards and making it harder to hit. Similar to how airplanes create lift, 
open release principle can be demonstrated by using a blow dryer and a ping pong ball. The upper pressure from the hair dryer balances the downward force of gravity, causing the ball to stay suspended in the air. This is because the velocity around the ball is much higher than the velocity of the air, causing the pressure to be lower around the ball. In our last demonstration of Bernoulli's principle in action, a hose can be used. As Bernoulli's principle and the volume flow rate equation state, the velocity of a fluid will increase in an area of a pipe that is smaller than the previous portion of the pipe. This explains why the water from a hose bursts much faster when my thumb is placed over the hole than when there is nothing obstructing the hose. Thanks for watching. See you from another century.